everybody, it's Kay Beast, and for this week's art video, I'm going to show you part two of my Inktober series for 2018. This is days 11 through 20, and um, like I've mentioned in previous videos, um, I'm working a part-time job, and I don't really have time to do a lot on my free time, so the best way for me to actually accomplish Inktober and do YouTube at the same time was to do a flip through style video because um, I do a lot of these on my breaks at work and I can't really record while I'm there. Um, so yeah. Anyway, let's get into it. This is my uh, scrap sheet where I test stuff. And here's day one, um, day 11. So this day was Banshee. I really wasn't sure what to do for this one. I googled a lot and nothing was clicking. So did a basic thing. I have her screaming and holding herself and I played with the hair, but to be honest, I wasn't really a big fan of this one. So not a great start to this set. 12 was Flapper Witch. I had a lot of fun looking at this one. Um, I looked at old vintage photos of flappers, um, obviously, and I found one that had a similar pose to this that I thought was really pretty, and I played around with the hat and with the jewelry and with the hair a little bit, but uh, I had a lot of fun doing this one. Punk Witch. Um, this I did a little bit of reference, but mostly it's just from my own head, and uh, I kind of played around with like punk styles, and I remember from when I was in high school, back in the early 2000s, um, and I had a lot of fun doing the gold with the jewelry and everything. Um, the pose, I didn't really use a reference for this, but I do like this character design a lot, actually, so I was pretty pleased with that as one turned out, and I, I went really crazy with the ink wash in particular with this one. This is Seasonal Witch. This is another one that I was kind of eh about. Um, I wound up doing spring. So she's got flowers in her hair and on her witch hat. She's holding a bunny because, you know, that's related to spring. But, yeah, I didn't really go all out for this one. Um, so that's okay. I actually struggled a lot in this particular set. There were a few days where I was really unhappy with what I did or not excited about the prompt and for a brief moment I was considering giving up entirely but I'm glad I didn't because a few of the ones I've managed to do since having that downtime I guess um, have been really nice like this one this is Plague Witch this one's one of the favorite ones I've done this month um, I didn't want to do the Plague Doctor mask because I did the Avian Witch and um, I thought it would look too similar so I was just kind of messing around I decided to do a skull face and in the hair and I thought it would look cool and then I went way beyond and did the hair and all in gold and I don't know I'm super happy with this one this is one of my favorite ones I've done yet and I'm definitely gonna make merch of this I think this would make a great sticker actually so once October is all done I'm gonna scan my favorites and clean them up and then figure out what to do with them but really happy with this one this one was a lot of fun rockabilly witch um, this one I struggled with a lot I actually tried three different designs before I did this and I'm still not super happy with it. It works for the theme, but it's not particularly witchy. Um, and this was one of the ones where I was like, do I really want to keep doing Inktober if I keep making stuff like this where I'm not happy with it? But, um, I mean, it's okay. It's just not quite what I was envisioning. But for some reason this day I was having a long, a really hard time actually drawing what I was seeing in my head. But, you know, I guess that's what happens when you do so many, so many drawings in such a short amount of time kind of get burnt out a little bit. Student Witch, this is another one I burnt out a lot and I struggled with and I just did a face and she's holding a feather and a quill or whatever and glasses but yeah this was another one I struggled with and it was these two days in particular where I was like maybe I should just stop Inktober and just call it quits but I'm glad that I didn't. This is Victorian Era Witch, I had a lot of fun with this one. Did some googling to find some Victorian era outfits and she's holding this cane and um, I'm really happy with the line work in particular. I used my Pentel pocket brush pen for most of this and I was able to get fine detail by working very slowly and precisely especially in her face and uh, yeah I was very happy with this one. Steampunk Witch. I Steampunk and Victorian era tend to be very similar time periods so I really wanted to make sure it looked different so I did a portrait style. She's got goggles on her hat in this outfit, um, so this one was kind of thrown together quickly, but I wanted just, my, my main concern was making sure it wasn't too similar to the last one. And then Noir Witch, 
again one of my favorite ones that I've done so far very happy with this one I found photos of vintage um, actresses from that noir era um, and I was actually watching the others while I did this so she kind of her hair kind of wound up turning into Cole Kidman's a little bit which was kind of funny and again I used the gold um, but I was very happy with this one too so definitely might have to make prints of this one and wow it's day 20 already wow short video my uh, my video last week wound up being a lot longer but I guess I had more to say then. Um, again, sorry about the simplicity and the, the shortness of my videos this month. Again, um, kind of what happens when you work and have to manage to make art at the same time. I got to make compromises, I guess. Um, but yeah, I guess that is it for this week's video. Um, next week will be the end of October. It'll be the last 11 days. Um, so yeah, I did, I've done some good ones so far too for those. But, uh, but yeah, I guess that does it for this week. Um, again, sorry about the short video, but yeah, you know, I guess it's just how it's gonna how it's gonna be while I figure out how to work around my work schedule. I guess. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.